Hello everyone and welcome back to a new ROS tutorial. In today's tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to create a ROS service. So if you don't know what a ROS service is, it's something that calculates something for us and returns a response. So if you compare it to a publisher and a subscriber, none of those, they don't they require a response for one. You just publish a topic and you subscribe to it and then you do something with information. You never care about a response. So in a service, you want a response from it, and then you want to do something with that information. So let's see how we create a ROS service. So the first thing that you want to do is that you want to create a new folder, which we call SRV for service. So we are going to create that one. And in that folder, what we want to do is that we want to create a new file with the name of our service. So we'll call it multiplier.srv. In this SRV file, we want to define our input arguments and our response or our output arguments. So the first, we will multiply two integers together. So we will have an integer of size 32 and we call it A and then we have an integer of 32 B. So this will be the two input variables. And then we have, then we can type three dashes and this three dashes, it separates the input arguments from the output. So here we will respond with a int32 and we call it a result. So here we have the input arguments and here we have the response. So it, we take a two integers, a and b, and we will multiply them together and return a result of integer 32. So we hit save and we do that. The next thing that we want to do is that we are going to create a new script. So we're going to create a new node. So we can call it uh, service underscore server underscore node.py. And what we want to do in this file is that we want to import, first of all, rospy. So what we want to do now is that we want to import our multiplier.srv file here. So to do that, what we do is that we type import, uh, we type from, and then the name of our package. So tutorials.srv import, and we want to import multiplier, but we also want to import another one which is called multiplier response, like this. So this is the type of input message, and this is the response. So. Then what we can do is just to define our main function. So to do that, what we do is we type underscore underscore name, underscore underscore equals equals, and then uh, we can do single ones, underscore underscore main, underscore underscore. And then we make a colon and type, and we can call uh, our first function multiply, just to make it simple. So when we start, we will call it, when we start this file, we're going to call this function multiply. So we need to define this multiply function. So we will do that. So we call it multiply. And in this file, what we want to do is that we want to, first of all, initialize our node. So we type rospy.init underscore node, and then the name of our node. So I will just call it multiplier service. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to create a service object. So we type service equals rospy.service. And this uh, object, uh, the constructor of this object takes three arguments. So the first one is the name of the service. So we can call it just multiplier. And uh, then it takes the type of service. So this will be multiplier also. So this multiplier, which we a recent type, is uh, this multiplier service here, which we imported. And then we want to define a, say, which callback function we want to call. So we're just going to call this function callback. And then what we need to do is just that we need to say rospy.spin. So the node keeps running until we stop it. So now we need to define our callback function. And this function will be really, really simple. So we will just say callback. And just as with the subscriber, we receive the input arguments in two with this callback function. So we will have something here, which we call a request, which will hold our two uh, variables A and B. So then we want to return, and we want to return a multiplier response 
and we want to in this one we want to return um, we want to return request dot a times request dot b and then we can hit save so this is everything that we need to actually type in our node so the only thing that we need to do now is that we need to go into our cmakelist.txt and in this file we need to go down to around row 56 and we need to uncomment this uh, add service files function here so we are going to do that oops and then we can remove this service 2.srv because we don't we only have one service and our service is not called service 1 it's called multiplier.srv so we can hit save and then we can just go down to this catkin underscore install underscore python and what we're going to do here is just that we're going to add our script so we can type it here so i will just copy that one and i will uh, erase this subscriber here and instead i will say service underscore server underscore node dot pi so the new script that we just created then what I do is that I just hit save and then we want to open up a terminal. So I have just prepared this so you don't need to see it again. So I have started my ROS core and then I have uh, opened up two new terminals. I have navigated into my project folder. So what we're going to do here is just that we're going, first of all, that we're going to call cat and make. So we build our project. The next thing that we need to do is that we need to source our uh, source our setup.bash in the devil folder and we need to do that in our in both our terminals so I'm going to do it also here so source devil setup.bash uh, and then what we're going to do is that we're going to first of all we're going to start our new node so we're going to call ross run tutorials and then we just the name of our node so it was service underscore server underscore node pi and then i hit enter and we didn't log anything to the terminal when it started so we won't see anything we just uh, assume that it has started it, it doesn't give any um, errors or something so then in this other terminal what we want to do is that we want to type ros service and then list and this will list all of the current services running in our ROS core so if we enter here we get a result of five and we can see that we have a service called multiplier here and this is the service that we just created so if we want to learn more know more about this service that we just created we can type actually ROS service info slash multiplier and that, then we receive a little bit more info about this. So with the first of all, the node is called multiplier underscore service. It runs on uh, my PC here. And the type of service is tutorials slash multiplier. And it has two arguments, A and B. So what we're going to do now is we're going to call this server and see if we get a response. So to do this, what we do is that we type ROS service call and then we type the name of our service so slash multiplier and then if you hit tab two times you will get the two arguments and then we can just insert some values here so i will say 10 and 7 and hopefully we will receive 70 to back to us and as we can see we that was what it returned so our service actually works so we have created a ROS service in the tutorial and I hope you like it guys and uh, please hit the like button, uh, comment if you have any questions and consider subscribing to the channel if you want more. See you in the next tutorial.